We all deal with situations that seem like they'll never get better. It's easy to feel down and think it's not going to work out. But God says I will turn things around for my people. Zephaniah 3, 9. He's a turnaround God. Just like how he made a dry path through the Red Sea, turned a little bit of food into a feast for thousands, and transformed leprosy, filled skin into clear and healthy skin. When you hear that voice saying, your situation is permanent, you can't get out of this problem. Get ready, a turnaround is on the way. God is about to change sickness into health, addiction into freedom, lack into plenty, and struggle into ease. My dear friend, I encourage you to stay watching until the end. Open your heart to receive the blessings of my prayer, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your support means a lot, and I look forward to sharing more with you. So, God helps when things are tough. Even if you feel stuck, confused, or have problems like a struggling marriage, financial issues, or your children facing difficulties, God can make a way when it seems impossible. When it feels like there's no solution, and everything is lost, God can still provide a way. In Isaiah 43, 16, the Bible says that God is like a waymaker, opening paths even through challenging situations. Another verse, Isaiah 43, one in the Message Bible, assures that when you feel overwhelmed or stuck in rough situations, God is there for you. It's like being between a rock and a hard place, but with God, it's not a dead end. Many people might find themselves in tough spots, but there's hope and a way through with God's help. These powerful verses clearly say that God can create a path. He is the waymaker, the one who opens trails and builds roads. Even when it seems impossible, or well, there's no apparent solution, God makes a way. Sometimes we find ourselves in tough situations, feeling like we can't make it, drowning in deep problems. Throughout the Bible, a constant principle emerges. God can make a way when it seems there is none. Have you ever been in a tight spot, feeling like you can't overcome it? Like it's impossible? I've been there a few times. It's like being in over your head, struggling to stay afloat. In challenging times, the consistent message in Scripture is that God can make a way where it seems impossible. Life often presents situations where our faith needs to rise, pushing us to keep going, trusting that God will guide us through difficult trying and unknown times. When you find yourself in a place where it seems there's no way out, no way through, and no one to help, that's when God steps in and says, Put your trust in me, because I can do anything. The obstacles we think are insurmountable will be used by God to bring us victory. In moments of feeling lost, unable to find our way, we'll discover that God always makes a way. Even though we may not see it, unseen hands are working, and plans are forming behind the scenes. God is working to turn things for our good, for our families. And for prodigals, he's orchestrating blessings, providing for us and opening paths of connection that we may not be aware of. He's guiding people into our lives who will become the answers to our hearts' cries and prayers. God is blazing a path beyond what looks like dead ends. He doesn't stop when it seems over. Hebrews 11 encourages us to keep going, keep trusting, keep believing, and not to quit. What may seem like a dead end to us is an entryway to a place we haven't seen yet, a place of awesome victory. God's love will pave the way for us to reach that destination. He is the way maker with a plan that we may not see yet, but we can be confident in. There's no dead end for him. Even if you can't see it now, he's behind the scenes, working as the way maker. He will anoint you to see beyond the dead end and lead you into areas you didn't even know about. Trust that God will make a way. Oh, 
don't forget that God will make a way. Even in moments of hopelessness and helplessness, remember that God promises to make a way. When it feels like every door is shut and you can't see a way forward, God, our Waymaker, will create a path. He may provide a miracle, keep a promise, or simply shine light into the darkness of your situation. God has a history of making a way in seemingly impossible situations. For example, when Israel found themselves at the Red Sea, God separated the waters, creating a path for them to walk through on dry ground. This illustrates that God makes a way in the middle of no way. When discussing God as a miracle worker, some skeptics question whether the miracles described in the Bible actually happened or if they are relevant today. The crucial question is whether God is still working miracles today. Can blind eyes be miraculously opened? Can a small amount of food multiply to feed thousands? Can people be miraculously healed when it seems impossible? Based on scripture, personal experiences, and what I've witnessed, I want to affirm that God is indeed still in the business of performing miracles. Today, I want to express my unwavering belief that God is still a miracle worker. Over the past few years, I've witnessed God heal relationships. That seemed beyond repair. I've seen Him heal people from cancer when doctors deemed it impossible. God has provided financial breakthroughs for individuals when all hope seemed lost. I want you to know, without a doubt, that God is still actively performing miracles. I believe this wholeheartedly because I've seen it with my own eyes and experienced it in my life. While many of us may have no trouble acknowledging that God performs miracles today, there's often a hesitation to believe He'll do them for us personally. To witness a miracle, sometimes, you must take a step of faith. Miracles are God's business, but obedience is our part to play. God remains the miracle worker, but we have to take that step of faith to align ourselves with His plan. So, if you're longing for a miracle, know that God is still in the business of performing them. Take that step of faith and let obedience be your contribution to experiencing miraculous in your life. Believe in this with faith. It won't help if you think your situation will never change. Doubt and negative thoughts can cancel out what God intends to do. Instead of doubting, choose to be a believer. Align yourself with God. And say, Father, I trust that your promise holds true. A turnaround is coming in my health, finances, relationships, and career. I believe you can transform this mountain in my life into a molehill. Embrace a positive and hopeful outlook, aligning your beliefs with the promises of God. Now, my friend, I want you to take a moment to listen to these words from Jesus Christ. My beloved child, my love for you is unwavering, always present. You thanked me today for the gift of another day of life, and I rejoice in your gratitude. What are you waiting for? Express your thanks freely. It costs nothing. I know your needs even before you speak them. Just trust and come with me. Spend moments of tranquility. Find a quiet space. Reflect and contemplate all the reasons you have to be thankful today. Your life, your family, your health, the air you breathe, the food on your table, and the shelter over your head. These are all gifts from me. My supernatural protection surrounds your home, where warrior angels stand guard, watching over your dreams. Ever ready to engage in battle, you have numerous reasons to feel blessed. Take time to ponder them daily. Filling your mind with positivity, let your eyes be open to my goodness along your journey, assuring you that I hold your destiny in my hands. Trust in me, for I am always with you. Now, pray with me this prayer. Lord, I'm truly grateful for all that you've done for me. In 
this prayer, I ask for a change within me. O oh God, please lead my heart and assist me in growing into the person you desire me to become. Instead of following my own ways, I request that you purify my heart and mold me in your likeness. Guide my path, Lord, and help me take steps that align with your plan for my life, rather than my own desires. Let your wisdom illuminate my choices, and may my actions reflect your will. I surrender my whims to your guidance, trusting that your purpose for me is greater than anything I could imagine. Lord, I humbly ask you to create in me a clean heart. Life is often complicated, busy, and chaotic. In the midst of this mess, grant me the strength and courage to see people, places, things, and events through your lens. Guide and change me, O oh God. Please instill in me your heart for others and the world around me. Each day, help me to perceive, through your eyes, the truth of what is, what has been, and what will one day come. May your perspective shape my thoughts, actions, and interactions.